five and welcome to your science lesson. Slightly different today because we are going to be looking at someone called Galileo. Okay, that will obviously sound familiar because so your house team name, okay, was Galileo. One of them is Galileo. Okay, but first of all, we're going to have a little look at autobiographies and biographies because today I'm asking you to write a biography, okay, on Galileo, okay, and it's important that you know how to write one. So, a biography gives facts about a person's life. Now, if you remember, we did do a biography um, on Vincent van Gogh, okay, when we looked at him in art. It is not written by the subject of the book, so it's not written personally. So when we wrote it, we did we did not pretend we were Vincent van Gogh, did we? Okay, but by an author who has done their research and knows a great deal about that person. Biographies are written in the third person and can be written about someone who is no longer alive. So, other important features. A biography is a life story written in chronological order. It can include information about when and where the subject was born, their childhood, important events in their lives, including information about what they did or achieved. If the person is no longer alive, it may include information about when and how they died. The biography may also include direct quotes from the subject or quotes from others about the subject. Right, so... What does the prefix auto mean? So this is where we're linking it to autobiographies. So auto means self. Therefore, an autobiography is self-written. So it is an account of someone's life written by the person themselves. So if I was to write an autobiography, it would be all about me. Okay. An autobiography is different to a biography because it is written in the first person, explaining important events in their life. The subject may write about what has influenced them and include details of their feelings during different experiences they have had. So autobiographies are primary historical sources of information, whereas biographies are secondary because it's not written by the, that person. Right, so how do you know? So he was born and grew up in London, moving to France at the age of 13. Do you think that's autobiography? That's, that, that, that is written in an autobiography or a biography? God, I hope you said a biography there because it's written in third person, isn't it? I never enjoyed writing until I met my idol, Jacqueline Wilson, who ignited my interest. What do you think about that one? Good autobiography. She never could sit still at school, was a comment made by Mrs Alice Hall on old teachers of hers. Good, that is autobiography. He died at the age of 98 with his family at his bedside biography dancing became my passion i would dance every day and used to get angry and frustrated when i was told off for practicing in the living room i think my mother was always more concerned about me knocking over her priceless ornaments god that is autobiography super right so famous faces task is this biographical or autobiographical writing match up the subject to the picture so what do you think of this? He was born in Wales on the 13th of September 1916. His father died when he was three years old and he was brought up by his mother. He was quite unhappy at boarding school, which gave him inspiration for some of his stories. Read the next one before we decide. He had many inventions. Some of these included a metal detector, the audiometer. He invented techniques which helped in teaching speech to the deaf and also made a device to help locate icebergs. So who is who? Good, I would suggest that this is Roald Dahl and this is Alexander Graham Bell. Right, so I want to show you an example of the start of a biography. Okay, so this is a bit of an introduction. Okay, this is about Mary Seacole. Okay, so it's a bit of an introduction and then it goes on to Mary's early life. I'm hoping that one of the subheadings being early life has triggered the thought in you and reminded you about Vincent van Gogh. Okay, so in this bit, it talks all about, so here you go, Mary Ann Great was born in 1805 in Kingston, Jamaica. Her father was a Scottish soldier and her mother was a well-known Jamaican doctress who treated people using herbal, herbal remedies. Mary also had two siblings, Edward and Louisa. So here it talks about Mary as a child, okay, so that's her early life. Right, so this is the person you are going to write on, so he's called Galileo. Okay, he was alive a long, 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 long time ago, in fifth, between 1564 to 1642. So, your first activity is to safely research Galileo and plan your biography using the boxing up method. Now, this has been quite nice because this 
earlier on today, you will have looked at boxing up for your plan for English. Okay, so similarly, you are using the same format, but to plan your biography and you're going to write your biography today as well. So this is just to help you to gather your research. So you need these are things you need to include. Okay, so your title and your setting. So name of the person when they were born the time in which he or she lived, the profession or job. So that's, what, that's the information you need in there. The early life. So we need a paragraph about the person's childhood and early life. First important events. So this might be their achievement. Okay, so what were they first known for? What was one of their big achievements? Okay, same for this one. So we want two big achievements for them. And then in conclusion, when and how did, did they die? Why was the person important and what impact have they had today? So that's like their legacy. Why are they still remembered today? Okay, that's what needs to go in that box. From there, so there are just some of the subheadings you could have. So you could have introduction, early life, accomplishments and legacy. So how is he remembered? Okay, so why do we have him as a house team name? Okay, why is he still so important? What did he do? So here are some, uh, a word bank that you could maybe use during uh, your biography when writing it up because I've also give you a sheet of paper where you're going to write it up in full paragraphs okay so once you've planned it you are then going to write it up all right so in your pack you should have your boxing up and then a sheet that says Galileo biography on it okay so it might be that you want to borrow some of these words okay or if you've got your own to think of even better brilliant okay and that's it from me okay so make sure you box up first gather all that research please 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 remember to safe um research safely britannica kids has got lots of information on for you if you're struggling to find anything but please use kiddle unless you're researching with an adult and they're okay with you using google all right i look forward to reading these thanks you bye